This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and as usual, I'm not here alone. I'm here with Ifeoglu Walsh, okay, and Chika Mwewo. It's good, yo. How are you doing? Good morning. Bless, man. <laughs> Great weekend, I hope. Mm, perfect for okay. me. Okay. All right. Um, we're starting with Jennifer Lopez's film um, this morning, as Hustlers has been banned in Malaysia. Hustlers is a film about scheming strippers. The film is based on a true story and was inspired by a New York um, magazine article that went viral in 2015. Hustlers was banned in Malaysia because of its excessive, obscene content. The country's film censorship board said naked breasts, erotic dances, and scenes featuring drugs made it not acceptable or suitable for public screening. However, the film is currently riding high in the US and UK box office charts. Also, the British Board of Film Classification gave the film a 15 certificate. So, I've seen it. I have hot. seen it. <laughs> I'm going to like publicly announce it when we come here. Like I've seen. Yeah, it. but it, was it that bad? No, I don't think it is. For you to ban a whole country from seeing the movie, yeah. it's, it's, uh, it's absurd. But I mean, it's what they, it's their, their values, laws, it's their values. But I, when I, I had to think back and you know try to remember like explicitly, like very explicit scenes yeah. that would be banned. Except from, the from one the, place the where the drug thing was used. I think it was just one scene. Mm, but well, I, 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 don't, I, I, really, I really don't know Have what, you seen it, No, Hustler is a movie I haven't seen, but I'd love to see Hustler. And um, I can understand why it's being ba banned in an Arabic country, because they have their other movies. I can't remember for the life of me now. I checked them out this morning, but for some reason I can't. The one I that um, 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 John Elton's life? Oh, Elton yeah, about John Elton. The, uh, yeah, they had to take out some scenes before it could be played in certain countries. I think mm -hmm. um, Russia also. Russia, yeah. Yeah, so they had to take out certain scenes. So what I'm watching in America is different, different. from what you're watching. What I'm watching in Nigeria is different from what they're watching in Russia. They had mm -hmm. to take out certain scenes because um, according to their laws and um, if you say 15 in some other countries it's probably 21 it's probably 18 mm -hmm. ratings or PG or something so it, um, Malaysia is an Arabic country it's like playing that type of movie in Dubai I bet or Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. they probably wouldn't let you play certain things because mm -hmm. of um, their laws everybody's their PG. <laughs> it's PG for life no but I mean you could just put a rating on it just stamp it okay you don't want to stamp it 18 I think here in Nigeria do you know that it was just stamp um, it last year that Saudi had their first um, screening of a cinema they didn't even have a screening and um, they didn't even let their women drive as in it's that crazy in some Arabic okay. country I mean, so <laughs> that fact I mean, brought forward <laughs> yeah so in i think it was this year that the law was passed that uh, women can drive in saudi arabia for all these years that saudi arabia has been in existence yeah women were not allowed to drive until 2019. so that's to tell you how some laws and i don't want to say it's backward but mm -hmm. i just want to say but um, it is that, backward <laughs> well if, if that's the way you look at it but to them they're trying to protect their culture, their culture they're trying their to values. protect their values they're trying to no, protect no, no. their the principles the backward part is the woman driving not the movie oh, like okay. i don't even have an opinion yeah yeah yeah, yeah. If yeah. You, if well, that's how you want it and your youth or people well then maybe we can it. say it's also backward for women to also have the um What's it called? Hijab. No, no, that's no, that's, no. A, that's, that's a religious setting. That's a yeah. religious. Um, yeah, that's that's the same thing. They feel like driving is supposed to be a man's thing. It's not a woman's. But that thing. doesn't even that's, that's that doesn't accompany the, the Quran. Quran. Religion, religion, yeah. 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 But I'm just saying that that's how some countries yeah, are yeah. are programmed, and um, Saudi Arabia is one of those countries. I'm glad they just broke through. That is like independence mm -hmm. because yeah. they actually did celebrate the women's that. independence, yeah. more like yeah, more like, mm -hmm. and um, it was amazing to see that happen. So I think um, going forward, things like this won't get to happen again. A movie like Hustler will be put out there and people will be able to watch. All you just have to do is to guard your ward and your little ones not to watch such movies there's yeah, there something I, like I called um parental control yeah that's um, what I'm saying. exactly yeah, yeah but you could just do I, that. I don't think people not seeing hustlers in um malaysia i don't think they're missing anything really because 
It's not a great no, movie. No, like, it's a great movie, but there is, it's just like it is. It's a true life story based yeah, on someone's story. Yeah, so. And um, the stripping, and then there, of course, there are consequences to actions mm -hmm. and all that. But is that something I that I feel like if you see it, then. So. I don't know. I just went. To, I did, when it came out, I'm like, oh, Cardi B is in this movie. I went to see. Wait, I have to say this. I went to see that movie because of Cardi B, and I can count the number of scenes I saw her in. Yeah, the like, limited. Just, just I'm like, Cardi B, Lizzo. These are the people that made me. Come, I, I mean, uh, um, big ups to J Lo, mm. Kiki Palmer, Constance Wu, all of the other people. But J Lo that, killed it. J Lo so. did kill it. Like mm. she was amazing in the movie. But I and mean, I think she said that was the um, hardest role she's ever played. It was hard. The, the, the pole and all yeah. of those That's things. Did she, she actually do all that? In yes. The oh wow. I yes, she pulled it off, that. and she did it very. You wouldn't have known I that she's never been a stripper. I can't see You are still not being a stripper. You won't imagine her age. Oh, yes. Her body is. Let's, yeah, I, yeah, but Jello, Jello, Jello is still hot. She doesn't look her age one bit. She doesn't I look think fifty. Like let's let's yeah, put it out on the that's table. The grace. She I just would, celebrated her fifty. I birthday. would gladly propose to a Jello. You know what I mean? Sorry, everyone is gonna come for you. Like three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next story. So um, sources are saying that there is certainly going to be lawsuits following Kevin Hart's car crash and everyone involved are lawyering up. Um, people are like to call him a boy, as usual, tells TMZ that the argument is on how Kevin should have worried less about keeping the car authentic and more about safety and not doing so constitutes negligence. The 1970 Bracuda did not have safety harnesses or airbag. Yeah, so I think if you'll have to do justice to this one. Yeah, yeah I need somebody to like I'm open so up the story. I'm so not a car freak. But I love okay, so it's not just Kevin Hart that is being dragged in this lawsuit. It's also the, the company. Driver. No, apart from the driver, it's also people. the company that mm -hmm. actually customized this mm -hmm. car because it's a 1970 Barracuda or something like that. Mm -hmm. And um, this car doesn't have no hairbag. It doesn't have no Safe safety, safety harnesses. harnesses and all of that. And then you went ahead to customize such a car. Well, sort of a so classic, they're saying right? that, yeah, it's a classic. So they're saying that even if a Kevin had walked up to you and told you that, look, I want my car customized. And then you let him know that, look, this are the um, downside of customizing this vehicle. You're not going to have no airbags, no safety will be put in place for you and all that. That as a company, you should reject such offer no matter how much they're paying you mm -hmm. and say that, no, life first. You have to be safe because anything can happen on the road, mm -hmm. and something mm -hmm. happened on the road. Well, but I like the yeah. part. Sorry, Scott. I like the part where they said they called um, ten of those companies, and, and it said it is not. I mean, this they is a car to do that was already done in the seventies. Uh, and this it is doesn't 2019. have this thing. So yeah, the so, idea of having it is just to drive a classic. So if you start building in. Um, whatever you are, you, you know what? You know what? You know what? Cars like this are not in the market for sale mm -hmm. anymore. So if you want it, you, you have, have to, to go, you have to customize it, you have to go to the company and tell them. They go back to the, um, um, what's it called, scrap yard, mm -hmm. get parts together, build this for you. So they are saying that if you have the ability to build a car from scratch for somebody, and the person will use it, why won't you put safety in 2019, Sorry. knowing about, um, Reckless driving, driving the, the, the way the highway is speed right speed now, the speed the limits are different, things are different. So I'm sure that there are laws binding car companies that I may not be aware of, that we may not be aware of, mm -hmm. but there are laws that buying car companies now that okay if you're manufacturing this car make sure this is put this and that is put in place now if there's a breach of that code of conduct that should have been um abided by these companies mm -hmm. then they have every right to sue and um even though kevin is not the one driving they also feel like it's negligence on oh, his, his part yeah, because why would you be driving a car without safety and then you have occupants it, maybe if it was just in fact if you try to take your life and you don't succeed they, you can go to jail <laughs> do you understand yeah so it's a crime do you understand now you have occupants in your vehicle mm. and you know that there is no safety measure put in place to protect those people then that is negligence on this part so it's a valid case i just hope it gets out of it and i hope um the company gets out of it. And looking forward, I think um, even if you want a vintage car and you want all of that, safety first. Because I've seen a lot of people, I've been, I for one, I've been saved by airbags. So I'm grateful that we now have airbags in cars. Mm. Airbags.
Uh, it's a valid case, but since like before now, prior to this incident or this accident, there was no law put in place um, um, commanding or instructing people who pay price. You know, yeah. um, we wouldn't uh, know that because I don't think if they, they didn't find a loophole in the law, I don't think they would go after the company. No, he what I read, they said that they are now pushing. They are not going to push for policies mm. that will yeah. bind these companies to make sure they think of safety yes. first. Mm. Because which is why eight out of them or ten of them tells you it's not it's not a business. I mean, we have to pimp your right. Te te right. Technically, it's but right. Me, I think the American um, legal system has so many loopholes. Mm. One way or the All other, legal the, prosec All the prosecutors system. will find one way to say that in clause so so this this that they are supposed to do this this that as a car no, manufacturing the company. Guy, so it's America. not even so about Kevin. I'm, I'm more concerned about the company thing. right now because I think Kevin will be able to because he wasn't driving to start with. Secondly, the yeah. Secondly, so the he customized it. Yeah, the negligence is still on him yeah fine all well and good they will probably pay fine but the company will pay something higher if yeah, they, they find them guilty yeah they will have to eventually and but everyone will learn from their story yeah, and yes. then i mean those saying, eight guys that said that they would rather you know collect plenty of money than you know them check for safety they was you know they'll put in safety for first now i mean it's a lesson uh -huh. for every Everybody. person so yeah all right it's time for a quick break but when we return it will be time for some nollywood drama we'll be right back we do not understand, we will stigmatize. What you can see is the remaining of the tanker that exploded. The suspect equally confessed. A 500 naira they collect them. If no talk, they will beat you. Now you draw the five and they Welcome back. Um, okay, so the headlines are saying that Alex Ekubo indirectly shades colleagues who have children out of wedlock. But all I see is a man who shared his personal opinion, belief, and what he desires when it comes to reproduction and family. Alex Ekubo shared a fly photo of himself with the caption, Dear future future, can you come already? I'm ready. I can't wait to have mini me's running around. I'll be the coolest dad ever. Um, our house would be filled with, would be called House of Laughter. I want to have kids ASAP, but home training will not let me have kids out of wedlock. That's all he said. Hashtag team marriage before kids. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. all that. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I, I feel that way most times. I don't have anything against baby, baby daddies mama, and baby, baby mamas and all that, but sometimes I just, you know, when you're. I just want a traditional. You know, I, I, I don't mind being called old school or mm -hmm. you're not going with the trend or whatever, but I think that even those who are in the baby mama and baby daddy situation, if they could choose better, some of them they would also want to have the love of their life, mm -hmm. you know, and then get married, have a child, and have a beautiful... But something happened. You can't you can't tell everybody's story for them. Mm -hmm. But I don't think Alex was trying to shit anybody. Yeah. I think he was just giving... Imagine children. just giving your personal opinion and somebody takes it out, out of context and say you were shading people in your, 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 your people colleagues. in your industry. Does that... In my head, I'm like, okay, he did this. But I, I'm of that school of thought, so I want, I want that same, you know, togetherness. I want to be able to raise children in a setting, in a mother-father setting. I want two you know figureheads in that family the mother the father i want uh, my child my children to be able to understand how it is to grow up with in a nuclear family. yeah <laughs> in, a nuclear, but, you know, in an environment that is healthy and has both parents in it and i don't want to. so that's that's what i think too it's my, imagine me saying that and somebody saying oh the chica is shading elsie just mm -hmm. because she i mean it doesn't nobody's business it's my business but when he started his hashtag mm -hmm. No, I don't even um, agree with his um, school of thoughts, even mm -hmm. though we have said um, it's his personal opinion. But mm -hmm. I, for one, 
the best, one of the best things that has happened to me in my life is having a daughter out of wedlock, and I know I can never get married to my baby mama. That's confirmed. Like, we can never get married. But I have a child with her, and that's a very amazing relationship. We have a very good relationship. So um, whether or not you see it as, I think, I think some of us like to grow with our kids. Some of us like to make things happen. Like now, I'm proud that I have a child with so, so age. Do you understand? And the, the more I grow in my business and my finances, the more I would be able to do for her, the more independent she will be able to be. So, um, Alex Okubo team, um, hashtag team. Marriage before kids. Marriage before kids. It's people's opinion. Life happens sometimes. You can't decide for people, which is why I like the fact that it is personal opinion, it's personal principles, it's personal standard, it's what he wants from life. But it's not a shade on anybody because we have a lot of successful people who are single parents, single mothers, single fathers, single everything, and they still they are able to provide the best life for their kids. Like what Jay says, she says she has seen children with two, with, with both parents and then ended up being wayward, useless and all of that. And we have kids that have been raised by just a mother or a father and they are good. Or we have people that have co-parented and they are still making the best out of their child's life. So. So if I'm guessing you're right, you're basically saying it is even wrong for anybody to think there is a shade there. Yeah, it's wrong for anybody to think oh, there's a shade because okay. it's his personal principle. It's what he wants. It's different from what I want. And if life happens to Alex Kubo, he if, he yeah. knocks, if he knocks I somebody mean, I've said what I want, but who, would, who knows what happens yeah, in the next would, Yeah, he would yeah, accept. Well, probably he would, now, well, probably he would, ac me, probably he would accept the child or he would turn it down. Or he would, but he but whatever it is, mm. life happens. So I think when life happens to people, you need to have that empathetic nature and know that life happens. Okay, mm. that happens. Alright, uh, moving on to our final story. Um, Don Jazzy, Adekunle Gold and others have reacted to the new charges against Omoyele Showare. Um, the Nigerian government filed a seven-count charge of fraud and treasonable felony against the publisher of Sahara Reporters. This came about 50 days after Showare was arrested and detained by security operatives on the 3rd of August. The charges accuses Mr. Showare of making several transfers of um, 16,975 um, dollars and um, twenty thousand four hundred and seventy five dollars from his domiciliary account with the united bank for africa with the intention to conceal the origin of the money mr shore is also accused of cyber stalking and disseminating information from an interview he had with a medium despite knowing such information to be false reacting to the new developments don jazzy tweeted and i quote this dangerous precedent of stifling opposition voices and dissenting opinions has survived enough let's not pretend our nascent democracy isn't being sabotaged when citizens shudder at the thought of people they elected into power. I plead for Showare free, hashtag free Showare. And then Adekunle Gold said, I really don't want to believe those fictional charges against Showare. Treasonable what? A joke. Yeah, so, um, <sighs> we are in yeah, politics we need, we now. Need, we I don't to, know, we right? We need to start before we yeah. take <laughs> on that. Because mm. I think we have discussed the same story on this table i think mm -hmm. like a month ago or so when it happened when it yeah. first happened mm -hmm. when it broke out we discussed the story and we talked about how oh no 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 this will not happen that won't happen because mm. i mean the charges are almost ridiculous and also how the problem yeah. was the fact that he used the word revolution exactly yeah, that was even where the problem stemmed from so we we discussed about it and we thought okay it's just in the nigerian government being the nigerian government so when these charges have come forth now, come forward, we're asking, okay, is, what, where are these charges coming from exactly? Um, the the one for the um, fraudulent charges, the one for the United Bank of Africa, those it doesn't even involve this case. That's my that's my even concern. No. Like, they have to look it's for like something. you're just digging for something mm -hmm. to hold this man. Like mm -hmm. you just that's what that's what I think is happening right now. So you found that and um, treason. Um, I think I'm interested in seeing the court documents because mm -hmm. I want yeah. to know what is the origin of the money exactly. that he's concealing. It, how does it relate to this case exactly that um, the revolution now protests? How does that relate? And I also like that um, Don Jazzy, Adekunle Gold, um, Segaling, Seg I like the, I like that these people are coming forth to talk about it. I always like when people in you know with social media power. Let me in, permit me to use those words. Social media power come out to talk about these issues that are I mean plaguing our country very terribly. Mm. And sure, I, I don't really want to have a political opinion or anything concerned 
concerning that. I just want like justice to take you know take its um, time and come through for us in this system. So I don't want to, I really I really don't want to talk about the shower issue. Um, so I'll just pass it on to our lawyer. <laughs> 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 okay, so on this case, right, I don't even want to go by what Don Jazzy said mm -hmm. or what Adekunle Gold or what JJ Omojo. I'm going to go to a very prolific um, citizen of this country, um, Wally Shoinka, mm -hmm. and I saw what Sh Wally Shoinka wrote. He said when he saw those charges against Shore, he was like, oh, it's one of those false news like sure. coming out of Nigeria because um, we had the major practitioners of um, false news mm -hmm. so he said when he now actually he was like for real so if a wally showing car and he was like welcome to the club or welcome to the team he said something like that because mm -hmm. he has also he's been taken yeah, yeah he's gone through this and all of that so um my question for the nigerian government is is this a democratic regime or is this tyranny is this a military regime we need to know exactly where we stand because as it stands right now we don't even know if we're in a democratic state anymore because if i don't have the freedom of speech now this is somebody who owns a publication company a media house and um there have been reasons for him to post against different governments since 1999 that we came into democracy right we came into democracy in 1999 right mm -hmm. yeah since 1999 that we've been in in the democratic um years. regime this guy has posted against every single government Okay, and people are saying we call it against. He's probably just questioned. Yeah. He's questioned. Yeah. And then people said, um, um show sure is whipping what he saw because in um, 2015 he, he was on he was, on, who, he was against Julio um, Good, Good Luck, 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 Luck Jonathan, Jonathan and, and uh, Bari went in and then he's reaping what he saw. But all of the as it it doesn't really add up. If you're talking about insulting, then I should be in jail. I've, oh. I've insulted Boo Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you understand? I mean, please come for me too. Ah. Because I have insulted Bubu. <laughs> Okay, See, well, I will still insult so, Bubu today. So, which is why Do I, you understand? Say, I know our time is almost, I wish we had more time on this story, but I think if we want to share opinions, we should try as much as possible to be very, very politically correct. Yes. And it's possible to do it without having anybody holding anything over your head, which yeah. is what JJ Omojua has done <laughs> over the years. And nobody can come out to say, you, you, said you this, insulted me. Uh, it wasn't like that. He's, taking, he's speaking on the policies, he's speaking on the things you have not done, and come at you in a very intelligent way that you cannot hold him down. Because Please, he's do you know who Bubu is? I'm, I'm, I hope I'm completely <laughs> correct. <'cause laughs> do you know who Bubu is? Yeah, I know who Bubu is. Yeah. Yeah. No, me, yeah. I am a Bubu. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bubu. I love you, Bubu. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I, we're laughing about this, but, but I mean, a man, yeah, it's, a man it's, is it's somewhere really suffering almost 50, 50 days. days. You know, I mean, more than 50 days yes. now. And I really hope that um, President Muhammad Buhari is yeah. listening and he's... Really but you know the craziest part of the story is the fact that um, they were supposed to hold him for 45 days mm. and then on the 44th day, mm. you came up with new charges. Okay, we Just. need to wrap up now, but <laughs> thank you for so watching. Insane. We'll be back here to have this conversation and thank you to my co-uncles, um, Chika Nguyewu and Ifeolu Washukaya. Right. My name is Elsie Godwin. See you later.